Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we will do review of LG C10, my gaming monitor slash TV. From the user perspective, how this TV can serve you as a monitor and could you use it on a daily basis. Uh, I bought this TV around six months ago, somewhere before Christmas and until now I can only say good things. This LG C10 or CX if you want to is one amazing monitor and TV. It's a 4K 120 FPS when you use a 2.1 HDMI. Of course it's very nice, appealing, the black are amazing, the picture is amazing, hardware setting is through the roof, didn't have any problems, G-Sync was okay, I didn't have any problems, maybe I bought it a little bit late so it was already fixed in the updates and but until now my TV is working perfectly. This TV is very good and great with the picture quality. Picture quality is amazing. I heard a lot of people say that the whites are not good but for me the whites are also very good. Only negative side that I can find for this TV, well two of them, First one is automatic brightness. You cannot turn it off, you cannot turn it on. Sometimes when you don't use your monitor or TV too much, it will dim down the light and after you start working three to four seconds, it will go up again. So it will make an impact to your eyes. So this is the part that I don't like about this TV, but everything else, perfect. The second thing that I don't, second thing that I don't like is uh, you need to have extremely strong PC for this. It is a 4K 120 FPS and if you want to push it you really have to have something like the latest Radeon graphic or Nvidia. In my case I have a, a Nvidia RTX 3090 series and with this graphics card this TV is amazing. So every game that you put on this graphics card works amazingly. It's a smooth experience without tearing and the picture is through the roof. How can you use this TV? I use it for gaming and for video editing. For video editing, as you can see here, the timeline is huge and you can easily edit and see what are you doing at any time. The picture is amazing detailed, sharp and very correct. But also picture quality depends on which settings do you use in your TV. Here is the remote from the TV. It's a LG Magic remote and I currently set it up to hot air effect because I find it most pleasing and most beautiful for the setup that I use. You can also use the filmmaker mode, expert bright mode and expert dark mode. Also you have a game, sport mode, cinema mode, echo, standard and vivid. In every mode picture acts differently. The most accurate that I find is expert dark room and hardier effect for me but someone will prefer something else. And now, here is the game. The Red Dead Redemption 2, my favorite game on this monitor, looks absolutely stunning. Almost like a real thing, but it isn't. But very close to it. The blacks are very deep and whites are good. Colors are phenomenal. You cannot see the uh, small pixels like really really amazing thing just look at the details yes of course it helps if you have a perfect and good graphics card to push all of this but nevertheless if you do not have a good monitor your graphics card is wasted as you can see here the potential is fully utilized and this is just amazing so, the next thing that this TV is amazing are movies. 
Here we have a Mandalorian. Well, this is not a movie, it's a series, but you get the thing. It's a 4K video and the quality is just amazing. You cannot imagine how good this is. While I have this TV, there is no need to go to the cinema or to watch movies. It's a perfect thing for this Corona lockdown. Your own personal cinema. Just look at that. To sum it all up, as I said before, this is not a classical review where I tell you what the specs the TV has, how much does it cost and blah, 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 blah. It costs a lot, but you can get it now for a little bit lower prices because the new LG TVs are coming up and the price will go down. So maybe it is a good time to get one if you can find one to buy. So from the user perspective, this TV is for me personally amazing. Why? Because first of all, I'm a very huge guy. I'm over two meter. I hate small TVs. I hate small monitors and this thing is just perfect for me. Second thing, it doesn't matter if you are big or not, the quality of the picture of this thing is just amazing. On to the point, you can see every detail and especially if you watch something in 4K. That's just mind-blowing. 60 FPS or 120 FPS if your graphics cards can support it, this is amazing. No lag at all, no tearing, you have an NVIDIA G-Sync and you also have AMD FreeSync. If you have a Radeon graphics card, it will fit you perfectly. What are the cons that I found? So, first of all, for some people, it will just be too huge, too big. They just don't like it or they just don't want a TV to use as a monitor. For me, this is perfect. perfect. I can see everything. I can um, play my favorite games in a huge immersive way. Also you can watch movies like in the cinema and the most important thing when I do a video editing working space is huge and very detailed. There are, you cannot see the individual pixel. It's a perfect. Then the price. This TV is a little bit expensive but it's not expensive as some premium monitors and I can already tell you there is no monitor till today that can compare the picture of this OLED screen not at all do not be fooled by 240 FPS unless you are a professional gamer you don't need that 120 FPS is perfect you just don't need so much FPS on your monitor for a daily use, especially if you play uh, slow-paced games like uh, Red Dead Redemption. If you play some shooters and like Counter-Strike, then maybe you want to have uh, another monitor that has a high FPS, but then the picture quality is not so great and you actually don't need it. You just need to hit the target, so it's a, you, you have to decide what you want to do. With your monitor and what for you and why do you need it for me 120 fps is perfect i had a monitor with 200 uh, i think it was uh, 140 fps uh, it was a lg ultra wide and um, no no you cannot compare even compare it like the quality of this picture outshines everything that you get from the fast fps so it's better to use this monitor with the lower FPS, like 60 or something, than use your fast FPS monitor or even 360 or something, some huge numbers. It's it just not, you cannot compare it even. Does it harm your eyes when you are constantly watching this TV because it's so huge? Uh, for me, this was not a problem because I have a long arms and I'm always a little bit further from the TV so until now I didn't have any problems any strain on my eyes maybe it will come in future but I can feel comfortably working for a few hours on this uh, monitor TV and I do not have any problems for someone that sits very close up to the monitor 
that may be an issue, but for me, no. If you are a professional gamer that needs some high FPS or you play only a fast shooter games or driving games, then you have to choose something else. But for the everything else, this monitor can pass perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. Tell me down in the comments if you plan to buy one or you already have one. Are you very satisfied with this TV or you want to change it? And do not forget to subscribe because I need subscribers now. And until next time, write me down what you want to see. Maybe we can do next video uh, my settings for this TV or maybe you want to see the review of my PC. So until next time, write down and see ya.